guys, it's your girl Charisma. Welcome back to my channel. Tell my new subscribers, welcome to the K Squad. Let's jump right into this review. <laughs> to me from ebonyline.com so shout out to you guys for sending me this gorgeous unit i will be leaving all the links down below to purchase in the bottom box below so be sure to check that out after the video is over and today i'm going to be reviewing the outre melted hairline lace front wig i have her in the name sabrina the color i have her in is drff2 slash bic now I have her in the same color as the stock card and I will be putting up pictures later so you guys can take a really good look at her. Now this is the, I think the third or fourth outre melted hairline lace front wig I have reviewed. So far I have loved every single one of these units. I am in love, in love, in love with this series because the hairline is just Perfect. I love, love, love the hairline. $40.95 over at Ebonyline.com. This also comes in 10 different colors. So if this color isn't your taste, you can always go and get something different from this. I think this will look good in a natural color as well. But I love this copper color. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. The description of the unit it says here that this is a lace front wig, which is synthetic. The length on her is medium. This is heat safe up to 400 degrees. This unit does have a frontal effect hairline. No puffing is required. Baby hairs included. Soft Swiss lace a redesigned comfort and a five inch deep part now we're going to go ahead and jump into a clip of me explaining more of the unit and then i'm coming okay, right guys, so as with all the melted hairline series the lace is pretty much ear to ear but i mean like seriously ear to ear this goes all the way down like to the bottom of your ear so the ear to ear lace is like on the toc tip for real okay love the lace and then i want you guys to take a look at the hairline the hairline is like on point look at that hairline i love the hairline on all these units and then it does come with your standard um two combs in the front let me go ahead and get those out so here's one comb here and then here's the other comb there's another comb then it has your wig strap which i do love because it makes the unit more comfortable and then we have the two straps in the back with the comb and as you can tell the comb is really wide on the back here i do like that too because that means that it's going to fit snug as far as the cap is concerned i would not say that this is big head girl friendly but since the strap is on here it will make it a lot more comfortable for the big head girls okay so it is a small cap but whenever there's a wig strap present that's always a great thing because it will make the unit Fit more back. And let's just talk a little bit more about the unit. So obviously, like I said, you do have to cut the lace and the lace was ear to ear. The lace was so long when it came to like ear to ear. I cut the lace, but I literally had to put it behind my ear because that's how far it goes. It goes all the way down to about the bottom of my ear. So I had to go ahead and cut that and then kind of put it in like behind my ear there. Now this is a right side part wig. If you are not accustomed to that, this wig is not going to be for you. But for me, it worked because I was able to tuck that lace behind there. If it wasn't a right side part wig, ma'am, I don't know what I would have did. Now I did take my got to be glue and I just went uh, spray glue and I went ahead and sprayed a little bit on the side there just to kind of lay it and then as far as the baby hair I just took a little baby hair and swooped it around there and that was pretty much that the other side of the unit I did not glue down because I wanted y'all to see how far the lace went so the lace went all the way down like I said to above my ear and then I wanted you guys to also look at the hairline on the unit ma'am the hairline is just slaying my full 43 year old existence i'm here 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 for the hairline this, like i don't know who over there at outro is making these hairlines but ma'am keep doing what the hell you doing girl like i said before the baby hair was minimal so i didn't really do much to that i just took it and kind of swooped it up into the hair i also used my handy dandy care care wax stick you guys already know i love her and i took a uh a plug in pressing comb and i just kind of pressed that into the hair so it can lay flat and then I kind of sprayed some product like hairspray on there to create the swoop. Now I think the swoop is absolutely gorgeous. This is what is the highlight of the unit because that feather man is giving me 1986. Lisa, Lisa and Co. Jam. Baby, if you don't know who that is, you are too young. I was so afraid because this is a shorter unit. But to me, 
it's like it's a throw on and go. I mean, it, you have to do minimal to this unit. Of course, you have to kind of glue her down. You don't have to glue the whole thing down. You're going to have to glue some of it down because like I said, that lace goes so far. But it really is to me, a throw on and go. There's minimal styling that you have to do with this because of it's so short and it's so versatile. Now, as far as shedding and tangling, I really didn't get any tangling. I did get shedding, but I'm assuming that is because I cut the lace and I really cut the lace really short so it was shedding a bit. But I don't think that that was from anything other than me just cutting the lace. So the shedding is, you know, nominal. And the uh, tangling, I got no tangling. Which I don't think you're going to get any because the unit is so short. The density on this is pretty good. Now, I do feel tracks a little bit in the back, but it's not that bad. I also have my hair braided under here, so that could also be you know helping that but the density is pretty good it's not too thin and it's not too thick it's very natural the shine on the unit is great it doesn't look wiggy at all so i'm loving that the part it says no plucking but you definitely can go in and pluck if you want to i did add powder to the part uh, you can pluck if you want to. It's up to you. But for me, I, I didn't even bother with that. All I did was add some powder and I was pretty much good to go. So the part is cool. This is a really pretty wig. I love how it's styled. I think it's just really beautiful. You could definitely get this in a natural color. Wear her to work. I mean, oh my goodness. Dress her up, dress her down. Definitely is one for the books. Outre is really showing out in 2020. I've said this before. I am in love with these multi hairline units. So yes, ma'am, look at that. I mean, and then look at the color on this. This is okay, guys, that's pretty much it for this review. If you enjoyed my content today, go ahead and give me a really big thumbs up. I would appreciate that. Don't forget to sub if you're not already subbed to my channel. Don't forget to click that notification bell and also follow me on social media at Christmas World on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. And until next time, you guys, stay beautiful and blessed. Bye.